In this video, I'm going to explain how to do comments that are going to show up on the report card or the progress reports in Power Teacher Pro. This is very similar to how it worked in the Power Teacher Gradebook that we're used to. So you're going to need to be in any view that shows a final trimester grade. So here I'm working in the score sheet. Now I happen to be working in my Spanish class, but the truth is second grade Spanish is not going to show a comment. There's two kinds of report cards really. Here's one example. This is a this is the standards-based report card that's going to be used for any courses that are standards-based and you can see it shows all the standards but it only has space for the homeroom teacher comments. Okay, it only is going to show homeroom teacher comments. There's no space for comments from other teachers. And that's because for the courses that are doing standards based and for most elementary courses, really the homeroom teacher teaches most of the courses. And within the subject areas, these standards provide ostensibly enough commentary. So we don't need to, to have those other comments. Now, here I have a different course. I have a middle school class. And you can see that in this report card, the teacher can put comments on individual subjects. And that's because we have a variety of different teachers here. Now, whether or not you have this is actually going to depend on your school. So you have to check on what the report card comment, what the report card looks like and whether or not it allows comments for individual subject areas. Okay, this one also uh, is still going to allow homeroom comments to get a little bit more because the, the sizing in on this is pretty limited. Okay, so here's how I would do it. Let's say I'm in a subject area, maybe I'm a sixth grade Spanish teacher, and I have a report card like this that allows me to put in comments. All I gotta do is go to the final grade, and you'll see that I have a little blue marker here that says there's a comment here. Oh, this is a pretty rude comment, sorry. This is not the kind of comment you should be putting. Um, but over here, right, this is an assignment comment. This comment is not going to show up on a report card. It's only going to show up in the Power Teacher portal. So this is where you would put your subject area comments on the final grade. There's other views that you can use for this. So for example, if I look at the grades traditional page, okay, here's that same comment. This view also shows missing late and incomplete assignments. Okay. You can also do this uh, by looking at the standards page because it does have a final grade section here same comment okay now this is for subject area comments if I want to get comments that show up for most of our elementary courses in the homeroom comments section I need to go to my homeroom so here's where I've placed comments on the homeroom and it's the same idea I'm using either my score sheet or my standards view, or my traditional grades view. Any one of these will work as long as we're working on the final grade for the trimester. Oh, that's, I, sorry, I, I created, these are pretty rude. I created a lot of these uh, while I was training and uh, just trying to entertain teachers uh, while we were learning about the grade book. So this is where we put our comments for homeroom and those are gonna go on the report card showing the homeroom teacher comments. If you know you happen to have you know a third grade Spanish class that's taught by somebody that's not the homeroom teacher and they want comments to show in the report card, they're going to have to collaborate with the teacher, with the homeroom teacher. Okay, that's how we do comments.